In today's video, we're taking a look at an all new flight controller from Rush FPV, which is called the Blade F722 Digital. Now, make sure you take note of the word digital here because this is only meant for a digital system. Now, we're like, well, what do you mean by that? Well, we're going to that in a little bit here. Now, this is by far one of the most interesting flight controller designs I've ever seen here. As you can tell, it only takes connectors up here. And if you flip it over, it's just paths for everything you need up to six motor outputs. However, if you take a closer look at it, and the post is somewhat misleading here. It says OSD onboard in the listing down below. Now, there is no video input, neither a video output. So this is just a digital flight controller. So make sure you keep that in mind here. Now, the on-screen display will work for the digital system because it works off of a UART down here. Now, something very interesting about this is they have custom tailored everything in order to get you going. And what do I mean by that? Well, they provide you with every single connector you could possibly need. So for example, if you had a GPS, here's a GPS section called the navigation system or navigation section, and you would just install this clip and it's broken out so you could solder it to whatever you want. You have a UART and the I2C protocol and a five volt. Now it's really nice, especially for the ESC section, they give you the connector. However, it's just been terminated into the, these right here. And they also do provide you with the connectors. So you could route them accordingly to the whatever ESC you are using, which is very nice and very thoughtful here. So that's really awesome. I like seeing that. And I wish we see more of that as well. So now if we take a look at the DJI section, again, you just install it and it's already prepared for you to install it in the full-fledged DJI system. Now, if you had a Cadex Vista, then you just want to cut the connector off. I'd, I'd prefer to connect, cut it about halfway and extend the wire so you don't lose this connector if you ever need it in the future here. Uh, you also do have a place for LEDs and you also do have a place for your receiver. Now, what's really nice about the receiver here is you will have to bridge this or else it won't work. So you have to bridge the middle one with the left one if it's 3.3 volts and the middle one with the right one if it's 5 volts here. So keep that in mind. And on the bottom, we have everything we need, plus a couple extra UARTs, as I believe. And we also have two extra motor outputs. And we also do have a buzzer down here. So if you wanted the buzzer, you can go ahead and grab it from right there. Now, and again, this can work on a on an analog system, but you won't have an on-screen display. And if you accidentally purchase this and you just had an analog system, then the only thing you'll do differently here is uh, connect the yellow wire of the video transmitter to the camera and give the camera five volts from the bottom. And you could give the 10 volts from the DJI place up here, 10 volt and ground to the video transmitter and the yellow line would go to the camera directly, but you won't have any on-screen display there. Uh, it is really nice, very well protected, and I really like this too, check this out. And they also do come with a couple more rubber grommets. They have this size right here, and they have a smaller size, so you can choose whatever one best fits your stack. Now, it doesn't come with any screws, it just comes with everything I just showed you here. Uh, and if you do get the stack, obviously the ESC comes into place here, and this is by far a really great ESC in terms of noise testing. And this thing is completely protected with the metal, and it's just an absolute beauty. I mean, these are just, just really nice looking stacks here. I do wish though, Rush FPV, if you're watching, you should have made an analog variant of this also. Just a little input and output for a camera and just stick the on-screen display chip. Even if you stuck it on the bottom, I don't think anybody would complain. So make sure you keep this in mind. This is going to be one of the easiest plug and play flight controllers for a DJI setup. I think you could possibly get right now. And, um... Well, that's really it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything is linked down below. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.